Hello and welcome to Praise the Sunday with me, Toby, from the Killabits. We've just killed the Mirror Knight, and uh, here we are, opening up this chest that uh, I missed at the end of the last episode. i <laughs> completely forgotten that there was anything here. Ah, man, we're about to uh, head through... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's actually probably going to be quite useful <laughs> in a moment. Because the next area is, uh, well, it's the path to the Demon of Song. And anyone that's played this game can uh, probably tell you that this area is no fun. <laughs> now, why is that? Uh, could it be the fact that uh, it's going to be walking through a giant underground lake? Sort of in the, the roots of what looked to be an arch tree? Which is going to make it a fucking nightmare to audio edit this section? No, it's not that. Could it be the fact that the uh, the waters in this lake are filled with horrible, nasty things that uh, try and grab your legs? Nope, it's not that. Could it be the fact that this is a gauntlet of uh, dudes shooting at you, <laughs> which you have to dodge over and over and over again? Hmm. think it might be that final one. Ooh, hooray. Excellent things. Wah. Gotta hit things with torches. Stamina. Okay, so they've given me a spell quartz ring, which negates magic damage uh, quite considerably. Uh, some green blossom to allow me to, uh, <laughs> to roll more. All in all, they're... Like, I hadn't realised the first time I, got, I went through this area, but uh, they are kind of foreshadowing that this area is going to be an asshole. Anyway, welcome to the Shrine of Amana, something that I really didn't expect <laughs> to be behind uh, Drangleic Castle. Now, before we go any further, we've got 41,000 souls, so uh, it's Medulla time. Okay, so here we are, back in Majula. Where is our lovely waifu? There she is, looking out to sea. Well, she kind of looking into the sea. That's morbid, baby. Okay. Uh, we don't have any shards, do we? No, we don't. Uh, okay, level up. Let's just take a look at our stats here without waiting for too long. Let's try and get our strength to 40 by the end of the run. Okay, not so bad. 38 strength. Lovely. We're almost getting to be, like, a competent buff human being. I mean, in the game, not myself in real life. <laughs> oh god, never myself in real life. Uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed the cinnamon challenge <laughs> that, uh... Okay. That I did, uh, last... Well, I suppose it'll be last week by this point. Uh, I, I certainly enjoyed it. Like, way more than I thought I was going to anyway. <laughs> Nothing that Lenagrass can do for us. Uh, basically, at the moment, you know, we're back on season, so we're just trying to put together as much quality content as we can. Not churning things out, but at least trying to get uh, back to a regular schedule. Which is cool. I also got uh, done with the uh, Silent Hill PT demo, which I played with my friend Peter, who is now a killer bit, I believe. <laughs> I think I can say that here. I don't know yet. I call this exclusive insider information that you get for watching this regular update. Oh my god, that looks so fucking... Oh, hang on. We'll fireball the branch. Or miss. You know, either way is fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Turns out I didn't have to be quite as careful as I was trying to be. Anyway, uh, Shrine of Amana. Bloody lovely. Really enjoy this area. Quite like that it ties things together with Dark Souls 1, what with the uh, tangled roots and all the rest of it. But at the same time... What the fuck, man? <laughs> what is this geography? Ooh, shit, this guy. Ooh, stop that. Thank you. Don't need him to degrade our equipment any more than it already is. Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah, talking about the PT demo. I have never seen a console game that looked as good as that game. And, uh, quite frankly, I, I pooped myself a little bit. <laughs> so, uh... You know, you can always go check that out. Maybe I'll put an annotation here or something. Who knows? Uh, actually, wait. <laughs> I don't have any of the footage of it. Never mind. Uh, it's yeah, it's absolutely remarkable. And as far as I'm concerned, it's probably the way that horror is going to go. I mean, I don't understand why they'd buy Norman Reedus and then uh, not make the use of his... I suppose it was the reveal, wasn't it? Like, you see Norman Reedus at the end, and you're like, Oh shit, it's that guy. It's Daryl from The Walking Dead. Kind of like how uh, Chocolate Covered Pretzel from... <laughs> oh man, Chocolate Covered Pretzel from Morats is in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh, shit. Stop that. Stop that beta starting class. 
Fuck, I did have fun playing as him. He was also the only uh, beta starting class that was from Jubilant Catalina, if I remember rightly. <laughs> Not that that's particularly relevant, but, you know, it was nice seeing a little bit of... I'd call it representation, but it's one character in a beta that uh, not very many people played. Ooh, fuck you, Cursed Jar! Some implications there, but I'm not going to go into them. I knew that there was a chest around here, by the way, it wasn't just... Ooh, ow! Oh no, he smashed the chest! Ooh, at least that means that I get to show you now uh, what happens if you smash a chest with an item in. It becomes rubbish. Which is why you are more careful than I have just been. Ah, never mind. Anyway, let's go inside here and uh, take a look at the creepy shit. You'll remember from the last episode, I suppose if you watched it, that there was a caged woman at the top of Dranglet Castle. And uh, these are her sisters. We knew you were coming. And stop singing. Ooh. God, these girls are spooky. Milfanito. Now you'll notice there that uh, <laughs> the second part of that word is Nito. We're on our way to see the, uh, well, another another kind of Nito. Not like Nito Nito, but some more of his offspring. Okay. Yep. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, they, they sing to keep something at bay. <laughs> and uh, I shan't spoil what that is. I mean, don't forget that even though I do these videos, and I do love doing them for you guys, you can always go out and play it yourselves. <laughs> In fact, I would very much recommend that you do that. <sighs> God, I love Dark Souls. But yeah, there's actually some exciting stuff on the horizon. Like, Silent Hills has kind of sold me on the whole next-gen thing, like, graphically anyway. Because up until this point, you know, everything's been... Not, like, disappointing or anything, but I could definitely have run it maybe at a lower resolution and frame rate on my 360. Whereas that was just like, holy shit, we are truly in next gen. Okay, just gonna sprint away and... Oh, fuck! Please no. Holy shit, this guy is relentless. Also, get away from her, you bitch. Uh, what else would I like? Oh yeah, there was one thing that I did want to talk about, and that was my uh, Risen 3 review. I've received a lot of negative feedback on it, uh, but, and this is a pretty big but, maybe one thing that I should have made clear is that it was a review only of the Xbox 360 port of what is clearly a PC game. Like, I can understand that people are upset because Piranha Byte, you know, they made the Gothic games, and I'm a huge fucking fan of the Gothic games. Both in, you know, physical size and uh, <laughs> loyalty to, not Piranha Bytes as a company, but definitely their amazing ARPGs. And I can understand, like, why people are upset that I said the things that I said, but don't play Risen 3 on uh, 360. Like, by all means, apparently it's amazing, and uh, if I wasn't such a console pleb, then yeah, I, <laughs> I would probably have loved the game. But my review was specifically of that port. I did want to get that out of the way, like, I don't want to make this into, like, a, a personal soapbox or anything quite as uh, ridiculous as that, but at the same time, fucking hell, guys. You know, it's a Piranha Bytes ARPG, of course it's going to be alright on the <laughs> the platform that they insisted, like, well, that it was designed for. That's like, uh, that, that's like complaining about someone saying that the keyboard and mouse controls of Dark Souls 1 weren't very good, like... If you're not playing it with a fucking pad, that's your issue. It's not an issue with the game itself. It's an issue with the fact that you're playing what is essentially a bastardized version <laughs> of uh, what the what the uh, studio's vision was. Anyway, <laughs> that's enough of that. Just going to light up this bonfire because we have made it through the first area of the Shrine of Amana. Oh, and of course we can't use it. There's this dude here. Fucking Slayer fan. Yeah. I'm glad that I did get the chance to clarify that, because uh, getting more dislikes than likes, my self-esteem just couldn't take it no more. Okay, Ooh. we're up to the gantlet now. Wow, I really thought that I'd managed that. Please, stop that. Oh man, I've been uh, playing a load of Demon Souls again at my friend, uh, well, at, at Peter's house, the new killer bit. And I'd forgotten just how good the game feel is in uh, Demon Souls. I mean, this area is fucking majestic. I mean, you know, we've got all this mystic. 
He's underwater, Toby. Of course you're fucking fucked. Wow. Okay, just going to nip back to the bonfire because uh, we're getting our Esther sucked away here. But yeah, I mean, this area is fucking mysterious as shit. And it, it makes me want to know who Amana is. But the only thing that we're really rewarded with at the end of the area is the Demon of Song. Which is a really fucking cool looking boss. I'll definitely give the game that. Like, the boss design in this game, when it's not being kind of boring, is some of the coolest of the franchise. And I really can't wait for you guys to see my well, boss frog. Oh, fucking hell. Maybe I should put that uh, quartz on. Okay, just going to slam myself into cover here. <laughs> I do love this, turning it into a cover-based shooter. Okay, uh, need Chloranthi, need Ring of Blades. Actually, no, we don't need Ring of Blades right now. Let's uh, increase our magic defense substantially. Okay, we can forget about damage until these guys are fucking corpses. No problem, I can still take them out with a basic three-hit right-handed combo. Oh, one thing that always makes me nervous ever since I fought the Hydra for the first time in Dark Souls is walking through waist-high water. Just because, like, you never know if you're going to slip and fall to your doom. <laughs> this isn't an area that I've spent that much time in either, so uh, please bear with me if I'm taking too long. Okay, this guy looks pretty unawares. Oh, no. He turned around. Okay, this guy... <laughs> this guy's trying to snipe me. In the head with a long-range bullet. Okay. Not a problem. I always thought that there was a summon sign back in the, uh... Melifinito or whatever. Well, never mind. Okay, two, three. Nice. Got him. Ugh, oh, these things are so fucking creepy. And they clearly used to be people. Or, well, it's kind of like Blight Time. Nothing in... Oh, nice! A human effigy! Yeah, that pretty much confirms that they did used to be people. Also, that thing can fuck right off those things from the fucking tutorial. Oh yeah, here's where you summon. <laughs> My bad. I forgot that there was a second uh, Midifinito hut. And that's what they're called. Fuck. They literally said it <laughs> about five minutes ago. I should definitely have been paying more attention. Okay. We've got a corpse. And another corpse. And our summon sign, Felicia the Brave. Now, the reason that we're summoning here isn't because, you know, the enemies are particularly difficult, but because we really, really need an, a meat shield. Plus, you know, check this out. Night set. And they've got a sweet fucking speary halberdy thing. Once again, please ask Rick, <laughs> Rick for clarification on medieval weaponry. Okay, so. Just got a 100% physical shield them. Wow, spell quartz ring does not do as much as I really need it to do. It's just Esther's quickly. Really don't want to waste this stuff because we... Oh, wait, no, there's a bonfire between here and the boss. Okay, just a bit of manoeuvring. And roll! Ah, <laughs> excellent! Could have sworn that there were more of these caster guys. Maybe the game's been patched since Lowe's last here. Nearly said since last I was here. I was like, wow, that's some... That's some archaism right there. Ow! Pegged me right in the fucking side of the head. Okay, while uh, Felicia deals with them, I will apparently miss my slash with this chap. Excellent. Wow, Felicia's doing really, really well. Good for her. Excellent. Okay, that's just... Ooh, fuck, Estus. That's just Estus. Okay, Felicia, just draw their aggro, okay? I'll be over to help you in a second. Oh shit. She's in trouble. Okay, do a jumping attack. Sorry, Felicia. You have served your purpose about as well as anyone could really have wanted you to. Take five. Oh shit, I thought that, that fourth hit would have hit. Hence calling it a fucking hit. Oh man, this area is so, you know, there's next to no, I mean, there is exploration, and uh, later on I'm going to show you something which is really, really fucking useful for if you run out of effigies. But this area is a real fucking gauntlet. Like, there's just these, whoa! Someone healed him. 
Holy shit. Okay. You are just standing around. So I'm just going to hit you as hard as I possibly can. <laughs> that was really fucking cool. Anyway. <laughs> Shrine of Amana stage 2 clear. Oh, there's an item there. But, hang on. I feel really fucking wary waiting out to get it. I <laughs> can't remember what this is. Alluring skulls. Brilliant. <sighs> Can't say that I've ever... Well, I suppose I've used them to distract the boar, get him to burn himself to death in Dark Souls 1, but... Eh. What are you going to do? Okay, through we go. <sighs> Some more of these mushroom dudes, who we're going to burn, rather than uh, facing, because I'm pretty sure that these are the ones that don't poison you, but rather... Uh, destroy your gear. Yep, they definitely are. And, uh, little spoiler, we don't want that. We never ever want that. Fortunately, though, all of our fireballs seems to have dealt with them. Excellent. Oh fuck, there's the big daddy. Okay, well, we're gonna light this bonfire anyway. Pretty sure the big one doesn't come back, uh, if you kill it. So, I guess if we concentrate our fire... No pun intended. Ugh, sorry, I, I hate it when people say, Ugh, pun not intended. Ooh, aren't I funny? Yeah, no, I don't care if your pun was intended. <laughs> I don't think anyone particularly does. I suppose, like, well, acknowledging the pun is kind of worth it. Okay, free aim. Holy shit, fire's super effective against this guy. And one more. Excellent. Quite a lot of souls now that I think about it. Okay. Well, with that guy out of the way, let's just... Uh, let's see if he does respawn. That would be a useful frame of reference, wouldn't it? Oh, he's totally back. That's kind of irritating. <laughs> Still, never mind. It's not too far here to the boss, I guess. Like, it's pretty far. But it's not... Like... It's not an obnoxious level of... Well, distance. Okay, that's those two dealt with. And now we'll just pelt him with Fireball. Ah, oh, man. Okay, so pretty much all I've been listening to recently is the Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack. And I can't bear it. <laughs> the worst thing is that it seems that that's all anyone's been listening to. So anytime we go to a pub or, like, just out of the house, boom, there it is. People are listening to that fucking... <laughs> well, not just... Uh, hooked on a feeling, but j just the entire soundtrack is bloody marvellous. Fuck, I've forgotten about this area. <laughs> Alright, never mind. Let's just play this cover based. Gears of Souls. Ah, uh, forge ahead. Oh god, gotta do a quick melee fight with this chap. It's fine though, jumping attack makes your hitbox weird. Please stop. Ah, oh, beautiful. The iframes on that allowed me to... Yes, okay, we got this. Chug two Estus. Oh, that was really satisfying. And, oh, nope, fuck, they're bearing down on me. Okay, yeah. So, uh, this has been an entire waste of an Estus. <laughs> this is going to be a nightmare to audio edit. <laughs> it's an absolute fucking nightmare. Not only is the entire area underwater, but I'm rolling through it. Couldn't possibly be corrupting my audio anymore. That said, though, here... Whoo, that went straight through me. Here, I'm just going to close this, is the boss, the Demon of Song. Oh, you okay? You don't look well. Okay, she was not well. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> okay, so she ascended to her planar form. Walla, walla, walla. Okay, right, let's just take a look through here. Okay, I think this should actually leave us at pretty much the perfect time. I don't remember if this guy has magic attacks particularly, but... Let's increase our physical attack, because if he's dead, he can't hurt us. Anyway, meet the Demon of Song, who I killed first time last time I saw him. <laughs> So let's hope that I don't fail. Ooh! 
he's kind of a frog with a weak point. It's proper, like, Star Fox boss design here. <laughs> now, what do I mean by that? What I mean is you wait for it to expose itself and then hit it in the glowing bit. And any time you hit it outside, like I just did, like a moron, <laughs> uh, well, your sword bounces off and uh, people mock you in the comment section. Well, I suppose that's uh, subjective, isn't it? Uh, we're heading through here to the Undead Crypt, by the way. Like, it's actually pretty close by now. We're about to see King Vendrick, hopefully next episode. Maybe not, actually. That area is kind of big. Ooh, fucking belly flop. This guy doesn't have much health, because obviously you can only hit him while he's vulnerable. Which is actually really good uh, boss design. Ooh, those iframes, though! And yes, I'm aware that uh, I, I will never ever like make an iframe roll and not acknowledge it. <laughs> Just for the sake of my own self-esteem. Oh, look at his fucking creepy face. Oh, shit. No, you don't. I'm gonna break lock and just run around to the front. <laughs> it is really satisfying when a boss doesn't have that much health and, like, the game just recognises that, you know, you figure it out. <laughs> a lot of games, uh, what was I playing the other day? I think it was Risk of Rain. It was just like a... F fuck, 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 fuck! Oh! Ooh, stinging, 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 stinging! Double Estus! <laughs> Fuck me! Ah. Okay, let's wait for him to open up rather than just standing there like a numpty. Okay, there we go. Ooh, thought it was going to explode or something. And he did explode, but it didn't hurt. <laughs> that ain't so bad. Oh, and we got the key to the Embedded, so we can go back to Drang Lake Castle and, uh, well... You'll see, I suppose. <laughs> anyway, that, that was actually kind of triumphant. I can't believe how well this recording has gone. <laughs> uh, if you like this episode, by the way, please do not hesitate to click those like and subscribe buttons. I you know, really appreciate the well, the feedback for the channel. Uh, also, oh, hang on. Do I need to go and use the key to the embedded to carry on? I think I might. Oh, no, I definitely don't. <laughs> Uh, you can find us on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash the kilobits and on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash the kilobits. Ah, I can't believe all this progress we're making. Feels pretty good. Praise the Sunday! <laughs>